let's, let's explore this a little farther and, and look at the APIs. And with that, we'd like to invite up uh, Chandra Kant. Chandra's the CEO of uh, Zamanda. Um, Zamanda is, we're, oops, we got it up. Zamanda's one, uh, Zamanda is an open source backup company and I, I would say one of the leaders in uh, cloud backup. And uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you guys are up to. Great, uh, thanks Dave. So actually let's uh, jump into it. So what I'm going to show is uh, one of the classic use cases of uh, uh, storage cloud, which is uh, backing up uh, your on-premise data uh, to a storage cloud service uh, such as the Sun Cloud uh, service. Uh, as a replacement for tapes. So instead of uh, writing to a tape and shipping tape for disaster recovery, you just uh, uh, uplink your on-premise data directly to the Sun Cloud storage. Uh, so Dave actually mentioned a little bit about uh, Zamanda already. We are the leaders in open source backup space. Uh, more than half million systems worldwide are protected uh, by our technology. Uh, we believe in open source, open APIs, and open formats, and that is actually one of the reasons uh, why I am here. We, we share that uh, belief and philosophy with Sun. And when it comes to backup, actually, it means more than just a political statement. You know, you want to have control over your, over your data for next seven years or whatever your retention policy is. And by storing data on a cloud in an open format, you will be able to do that regardless of how the technology changes underneath you. And as, as Dave mentioned, uh, in, la in last few months, we are also being known as a cloud backup specialist. We have hundreds of customers who are backing up their data to the cloud. So before I jump into the demo, let me set up uh, a couple of things for you. So in terms of what we do, we do backup to the cloud, which we have been talking about, as well as backup off the cloud. So if you have a critical application running on uh, Sun Cloud Compute Service, we can back that up as well. And one of the important roles Amanda's played with our communities have been with MySQL, where I think Amanda's really known as the MySQL backup company among that, among that community. Exactly. So MySQL is actually one of the critical workloads uh, that we support. So, so here is a diagram of what uh, we will show in a second here. So you have a backup server, which uh, in this case was actually running on a Linux box. Uh, it could also be running on a Solaris box. And you have various applications that you may want to protect which are running in your data center, one of them uh, being MySQL. So let's say you are a MySQL DBA and you want to have protection for your MySQL databases as in uh, some, either a manual error or some sort of a disaster strikes and you want to be able to recover your database and you want to be able to back that up. You can today back it up to tape or disk as well as to storage cloud, and today we announced that we are going to be supporting Sun Cloud Storage Service as a destination for your MySQL database, as well as other workloads uh, like Exchange or Oracle. Okay, so um, we did integration with Sun Cloud by two different ways. We integrated our Amanda Enterprise product. Amanda Enterprise is, by the way, based on Amanda, which is the world's most popular open source backup project, uh, using the S3 API. We also integrated our MySQL backup product using WebDAV API. I think that shows the strength of the open APIs here. Uh, we had two different products with two different uh, design architecture, and we found these two APIs differently suitable for each one of them. So we've been working together on this since, what, last summer? <laughs> well, you guys only gave us two weeks to, to make this happen, so, so we had to do it. Okay, so let's um, go over to the demo here. In a, so let me first show you, this is a management console for Amanda Enterprise. So uh, setting it up is very straightforward. You basically tell Amanda, what do you want to back up, where do you want to back up, and when and how. So in terms of what do you want to back up, we have choices as in various file systems. For example, you can pick Solaris and we will back up ZFS for you, various databases, so including MySQL, and applications like Exchange and SharePoint. In terms of where do you want to, um, where you can back up, Oops, sorry, let me plug in here again. So, so here, uh, so we have multiple choices now. You can back up to disk, you can back up to tapes, such as storage tech, or you can back up to Sun Cloud storage service. So we actually did our backup uh, uh, a couple of days ago, so let me show you a report for that. So this is a, report, this is a backup done off my laptop. Uh, it's uh, actually one of my laptops, which is a Windows laptop, and thankfully, Lose firewall, didn't fire, uh, firewall that laptop out. Um, so as you can see, actually the write speed was 118 kilobytes per second, which is close to, I think, 900 kilobit. We were on a one megabit uplink speed, so we came out almost close to peak in terms of writing up uh, to the cloud. Um, so the other, uh, very quickly, so uh, we backed up our MySQL database using WebDAV API. 
And here we backed up uh, a Netflix database to the Sun Cloud. And uh, you can notice a couple of things. Here is a backup image of the MySQL database itself. And we store the index on the cloud as well. So basically the idea is that your catalog is on the cloud. So all in, for a recovery to happen, all you need is internet access and a browser. So ultimately, uh, the goal here is that uh, you are able to uh, recover your data from anytime, anywhere. And this, is, this truly shows uh, the power of uh, open APIs as well as power of cloud. That's cool. Well, we, we really appreciate the work you guys have been doing. It's really excited to get you guys plugged into the cloud. And, uh, well, we, we are thrilled about Sun Cloud Storage as well. Good. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, thank you. Great. Thanks, Thanks, sir. Thanks for joining us today. Chandra will also be around all day. So uh, with that, you know, I, I, just to kind of wrap up the architecture, you saw we've got the compute side, the storage side, a few things. Obviously, the theme of open runs through anything. Uh, also, the theme of, of choice. We talked about developers wanting freedom of choice. You saw Windows servers. You saw Linux servers. You saw Solaris boxes. You saw different storage protocols. You've heard about, well, I could run this on SunCloud. It sounds like Eucalyptus is going to have their cloud supporting the same API. So we're really trying to continue to push out these ideas of choice, open, and, and you know, in innovation, taking things like the virtual data center and pushing it forward. Exactly right. And as we know, it, it takes a village. <laughs> so that's why in the next part is to really talk about that growing ecosystem of partners and other providers that will be working on, on SunCloud. So here you see some of the one, folks we started to work with. This isn't even a complete list. It's uh, growing every day. Um, there's ex a lot of exciting people on here. One, one in particular wanted to ask to join us today uh, was Robert Crandell. He, Robert is the Michael. CEO of, uh, of RightScale. Michael. And RightScale, when I think of the ecosystem around the cloud and people who are really redefining how people think of, of business models and technology models around the cloud, right scale just jumps to the top of mind. So, Absolutely. Uh, Michael. Hey, Michael, how are you? Hi. Good, Good to night. see you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks. So uh, talk a little bit about what you guys are up to. Well, first of all, big compliments to you guys. Um, RightScale is a multi-cloud management platform, and we've been eagerly awaiting this day with- Yes, we've been problems. talking for a while. <laughs> uh, it seems like for a while, although yeah, you've really brought it out so fast. So congratulations. Yeah. We're delighted to see it. Uh, we really start with a web-based environment that lets companies manage, monitor, and most especially automate their cloud servers, cloud storage, and other resources. Mm -hmm. And then we layer on top of that a collection of pre-designed server templates for common application scenarios mm -hmm. that basically provide a fast on-ramp, let people get up and running in the cloud really quickly. Okay, so we, in the demo that we showed here, for example, each of the, the components that we showed of the squid server and everything else, that was actually based on a uh, developer did that on top of our virtual box technology. So they would be able to use RightScale in, in concert with that to be able to bring those into uh, the web? That's right. We have kind of a layer on top of that. And our, our goals have really been since the beginning when we launched our, our free edition to uh, provide three sorts of sources of benefit for developers. And by the way, we love developers. Glad to see you all here today. Um, one of them is automation. Mm -hmm. So really reducing system administration tasks around auto scaling up and down, auto failover, things like that. The second is transparency. So in the spirit of openness that you're talking about today, to let people really control uh, what kinds of solutions they're building. And finally, portability and interoperability, um, moving applications and cloud deployments around to different environments, which of course is... Yeah, could you run on multiple clouds today, correct? We do, and uh, really, again, kudos to Sun for the API that you've brought out because it made it a lot simpler for us, and it's making it simpler for us to support your environment. Right. So clearly there was a need in the market, because what I hear about you guys are really starting to uh, attract, attract customers. Right, right. We have uh, a lot of deployments out there ranging from stuff like uh, powering the web content delivered for the Olympics over mobile phones to <laughs> enterprise grids and everything wow. in between. I'll talk about a little later at my lightning talk. Yeah, great, great. Well, thank you so much. That All right. Great, great. Excited Good to have you as a partner, together. and thanks for joining us Thanks today. a lot, guys. Thanks, Michael. Uh, Michael will, be, again, be, be around all day. Um, so uh, I, just to wrap up the cloud session, um, you know, as I said, these are the big themes. We tried to, you know, really focused on some innovative things that could kind of move the whole cloud model forward. 
really pushing on openness and, and driving, driving choice for developers, choice for the consumers of the cloud. And we think Great. it's, think it's going to be there. Obviously, the big question is, well, when's it going to happen? Exactly. <laughs> well, well, Dave, we're, we are taking the wraps off, as you, as you see. So over, sometime over the summer time period, we will be inviting in a large number of our developer community uh, in a kind of controlled private beta. So I look forward to having, seeing you all in the cloud over the summer. And, uh, and I think at Java One, Community One West and Java One, which is the It'll first be sec week of the first of June, there's going to be a lot more details. A lot more details, a lot more announcements, more and, and a lot more, hopefully, some live applications that we'll be able to, to play with at that time. How do people get started today? They, they really should do some, some, a couple of things. Go to www.sun.com slash cloud. And also, if you're interested in the APIs, I urge you to look at kanai.com, where you'll be able to see the APIs. And please give us that feedback. That's really important to us. And if you happen to be also one of the potential partners or developing an application, please get in touch with us because we would like to be able to include that and have an ever larger growing ecosystem of partners in this. So, thank cool. you. Well, thanks, Luke. Thanks for joining me. Appreciate you uh, sharing everything. It's fun to be doing together. So that's, that's pretty much what we want to do from a content point of view and, and give you a flavor of what we're doing. It's an exciting day for us. Uh, we, you know, the cloud space just touches on so much of Sun's history and our culture. That, that it's really fun. We've just rolled out uh, these services, starting to roll out these services internally. In fact, we just opened up the storage cloud to all Sun employees yesterday. I think we had 400 people sign up and a couple hundred gigabytes of data in the first hour and a half. So it was really, it's just a fun thing for us internally and hope, hope you guys can kind of see, see some of the cool things we think we've been up to and, and, uh, and we, we just think both the power of what we can do ourselves, more importantly, the ecosystem of folks, the communities around us, and how these things can play off each other is going to be really exciting going forward. So thanks, uh, thanks for listening to us talk, talk this through today.